Good morning. Today is such a nice day. Nice and sunny, so it's brighter in my studio. And now, since last I did the ink uh, sketch outline of the lotus flower, and today I'm gonna do the first layer of the color. It says color, but um, in this um, painting, you need to do the ink over some part first. So this uh, technique is called separate um, coloring, which means you are um, doing the um, different color separately. So for example, on the leaf, the lotus leaf, the front side, which is the upper side, you just um, following the little veins to separately um, color on, make it not even um, effect. And the back side of the leaf, some of those on back side, you can see the leaf was tanned. So that is lighter color around here and there, and this one. So this is lighter ink, and this is different color, some are um, stronger, some are lighter. This time you choose a slightly bigger brush to color on. So not the one last time we're using for the outlines, it's slightly thicker. And uh, same, you use two separate color, which is um, one ink lighter and one set for the stronger ink, stronger color. So again, you mix the, the two different, one lighter, one um, darker, which is just the ink itself and uh, mix with the water, so dilute it and make it a different shade. So first you wet all the brush. And then as a two group. So the thinner one you use for the darker shade and the lighter one you leave it just with water. So gradually gradient the color. So one thin and one slightly thicker. So yeah, this is a, a darker shade I start with on the front side of the leaf. So as you can see, I just use a thinner one to get collect the, the ink and start with the vein part. And quickly use the water. To gradually gradient the shape. So some like a kind of little pattern on the leaf. So I try to create that little uneven surface. First layer, you don't want to do too dark. Still need to be careful and um, start with very light shade. So you can check when you're all finished which part may be slightly uh, lighter. So you can do another layer on it. Because once you do too dark, you can't change. So we rather we rather start with the slightly lighter one. So 
So this is a very first layer of the ink on the leaf. You can see very very light. You just don't want this light. It will be too dark. And then wait till dry. So you check again um, if some like uh, the patterns, the, the vein patterns, maybe need a little bit stronger. And then you can do another. So now let's just wait till dry. Hello everybody, finally the weather getting better, so today is a bit bright, so I can continue in my um, lotus flower. So last time um, I did the technique called separate paint, which you paint um, ink diluted with water, really light um, black, to put on the leaves. So I did a uh, little bit of veins on the leaf separately. So that's why I call separate because you do a little uh, wrinkles on and a little mark on the veins as well. So some part is darker than the other to show what is the front side of the leaf and the back side of the leaf. And today uh, we do the second part, which is um, the flower. So first of all, you need to do um, the back of the flower with the white. So the white you have to use Chinese um, watercolor, the white one. Um, so we do on the back of the painting, not the front, just on the flower. So this is the front and that's back. So you put on the back of the flower itself, use the white. So the white, you be better like me, I take a jar to put the white in and uh, leave some water in a little bit more and um, so the the glue will separate with the color because you don't want uh, too much glue on so it's not smooth so there's some ready there and i use the two um, softer brush i use almost the new one so it's um, white you don't want to mix with other color because my mix with color every time you start to use so i keep this too as just use a white color one slightly bigger one slightly smaller again you wet the brush first and then do a little bit color on one brush another one just to mend in just to um, gradually uh, lighter the color okay let me show you how to use it okay let me show you how I apply the white on the back. So this is a picture of the front painting and the back we need to put the white on. So I use one brush, collect some more white, just a bit, you don't want too much. Let's just try the light color first. And another brush you only uh, have water on it. It's, it's not too wet so you can just blend it in. Okay, this is how you hold the two brushes together. So it's easier to um, change which one to use. Okay, let's just start with one. So you can put a, a white paper underneath so you can see um, how much the white color you apply on. So this is the back. So let's turn over so you can see. Can you see a little bit different which part I apply the white, which I beat. So when it's dried, it shows the color a bit more. Then you can check maybe not um, the, uh, the white enough. So you need to apply another layer of white until you think from the front, you see it's, it's the, um, the shade I need. Okay, so the back of the painting on the flower itself is white so that's the front when it's dry you can see a bit more so on the front it's uh, the white color on the back so then, then you can do the, the pink color on the front so I wait till dry and uh, also maybe I check again if it's not then show that much color on the front I might have to do again. Normally you do a few times, um, make sure the white is even and the white is 
go through because it's through a little bit from the front. Okay, so that's the front. So you might ask why? Why I put the white color on the back of the silk and not the front? Well, I think the flower petals, it's usually very fragile and um, delicate. Also, underneath the sun, you can see through um, for each petal. So that's what we wanted for the painting. You looks like the realistic flower petal. It's see-through, it's very thin, it's delicate and elegant. Okay, second layer, I did um, a bit stronger white. And also, you can see, uh, I want the petal in the inner part is slightly whiter than the uh, the out part of the petals so here and there all a little bit more white right and then gradually out slightly lighter the white out and also this one because it's turned over that side so this is backwards would be a lighter white than the other petals so when you turn over So you can see the colors go through a little bit. Yeah. Well, you can tell this is it's kind of leaked out. So for this stage, we need um, a clear water brush to clear that white part out. So you need uh, some glue and alum mixed together to put over when it's dried. We called three times painting with one time alum and glue together. Then uh, actually you can do more than uh, nine times color on it, which need three times alum and uh, glue to seal so that the color won't go through. Okay, we turned it over to the front side of the painting. What we didn't color is the seed part of the lotus and the stalk, the stem. So we didn't do any uh, color in there. So just again use the two small brush, one for collect the ink and another one just to the water. So I'll collect a really light Colored ink. So close to the flower, the stem would be slightly darker color than the um, bottom bit. So I start with this end. So it would be lighter than the leaf, the front side of the leaf. There's uh, three of them together. The seeds parts as well. So closer to the edge, it's a slightly darker. So that's the seeds part and the stems. Okay, from the, the um, front side, I still cannot see a lot uh, of the white go through. So I have to think through the third time of the white on the back. Still from the inner part to gradually go up. But uh, this time I use a bit more color in case it's still too light. Can't see from the front. It's 
for the silk it's very thin so it's all wrinkled up because it has been wet so um, I use one of this uh, embroidery um, rings to hold it tight so when you uh, pin it on it's easier um, for the wrinkle part and now uh, it's time for the front of the flower so I use two softer brushes well one for collecting the pink and one for just water to graduate the um, lighter shade so I wet the brush first and collect the pink this one called Shu Hong Again, you start with um, light color, so dilute with water. And then another brush is just water, so keep it white. So the shade it was uh, Top of the petal is slightly darker, which is pink, and then gradually lighter color. So when this first layer finished, you can see it's still quite light color and with just tiny bit pink on. But in this way, because you can see clearly uh, which part is more color needed, which, can't, which part not on the petal. So when it's dried, uh, you can judge where to put a bit more color on. <laughs> 